It's an intense job out there. Everybody's working so hard. You're using every muscle in your body, every bit of strength that you have. It's cold and wet, and everybody's always looking forward to that meal time. We're right now going along the beaches of Rhode Island towards Point Judith. We have all of her sail set. And we're making between 10 and 11 knots. Proud of Baltimore II is uh, the most famous traditional sailing American vessel in the world. I've been skipper of this vessel since she was built in 1988. She's been as far away to the east as Ukraine and Russia and as far away to the west as China, and almost everywhere in between. <laughs> that was a good one. That's that was the second good... time I've lost. I knew I should have gone with scissors last. Because <laughs> the vessel's run by hand, everything's hoisted by hand. There's no machinery to do the hoisting. But uh, people operate by food. When you put them in an intense environment where they're working 24 hours a day, you've got to feed them. There's a lot of responsibility in, in making something that everybody's going to like. There's 12 to 18 people that I'm feeding. You have people that may be seasick, that may not be seasick, and if you don't keep the kind of food variety up, uh, you can definitely start to have people rather than you. <laughs> we always say that you get paid with your meals. That's part of the crew's pay, basically. So it's menu planning. It is figuring out where to do the shopping, and you're doing it in a different port, darn near every week. So if we're on a 12-day voyage, you have to be able to account for all your meals, make sure you have everything on board. There's going to be no way we're stopping just for, you know, a gallon of milk. It's hard. You're balancing just a lot of different elements. There's the element of just being aboard a ship. I'll drop a bowl when I'm on land. <laughs> you hit a wave wrong and just everything goes fine. That can be challenging enough let alone cooking for that amount of people in a very small area where you don't have a ton of equipment. You can make a plan, you're not going to end up sticking to it. There's a lot of creativity that ends up going into it. The vessel's complex, the mission is demanding, and a cook is vital. 